Welcome back, guys. We have Connie on the line here. And I just checked chat. My, I'm literally standing in the dark. I don't know what my camera is doing. <laughs> I, I have no lights on now, but the lights behind me. So apparently my camera is just very bright. Uh, welcome, Connie. That was what a bloody long match. Like, that series was insane. Yeah, no, uh, first off, hats off to Viking Army for pushing us to all 12 <laughs> rounds on three maps. Yeah. And that went for four hours, I believe, with including the rehosts. Yeah. I've never been more stressed in my life. Like, I played international <laughs> tournaments, like games and stuff. This is the most stressed I've ever been, like, literally. <laughs> that's it was crazy. I mean, that's, that's kind of good for us to hear because... <laughs> That means that we're, you know, it was it was a good time. Um, not that you've been stressed, but it was good league and good sort of match between you and Viking Army. And um, it was awesome for us to watch. Like, it was crazy. I watched the streams. So I'm three minutes behind. So I was constantly, like, messaging Alex, like, please tell me, like, what's the score? What's the score? Um, but you girls had a bloody banger of a game, especially yourself. Like, just so many clutches, so many... Um, awesome kills. I had to do my timestamps and it's literally like Connie, 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 Connie. Soy, soy, soy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, their top players showed up as well. Like, um, my team, we're just, we just casually got together and we have a player who has less than 10 hours in the game. We have another player who has less than, I think, 40. Yeah. I have less than 200, by the way, in this game. So I still have a lot to learn. And I personally learned a lot uh, from playing the better teams. Like, we got dumpstered by Trinity the other week. <laughs> and um, Vertex also cleaned us up pretty well in week one as well. So do you, are you going to be playing more, C? Are you going to be coming back for season two? Do you know yet? <laughs> Is there a season two? <laughs> Can't say anything. No, but I think hopefully we will have that. We will have the season two. Well, yeah, thanks for all the staff and all the talent um, who've put this all together. Even the players, like without the players, this league can't even happen, like exist basically. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of our massive things that we keep harping on about is without the five teams, uh, we couldn't have done what we've done um, over the past six weeks. But uh, like even like I said to Viking Army, you guys have come from, you know, a team, you, what you girls, some of you girls just got back from Girl Gamer. Uh, yeah, and then straight into this, and yeah. uh, the improvement has been incredible. It has been so cool to watch you girls like just improve so much. Um, you had some, you know, had some players drop out. You had a late sub in with um, Mazzy, and is it you like you guys have just been so flexible and so amazing. Um, but overall, how did you find playing Rainbow Six in a competitive scene? Um, obviously, I do come from a CSGO background. Yeah. Uh, personally, I feel confident taking, like, the aim duels. I could probably outgun most of the players. Um, but that's the thing. Like, against Trinity, they had really good support. So, they had really good droning. So, that's why I did nothing. I had no impact in that game because, like, they were getting the advantage over me. Like, I wasn't getting a fair fight at all, like, for sure. So... Um, yeah, it was very difficult playing them, and um, I did spend a bit of time just running through the maps, but I still got a lot of tricks and uh, stuff to learn as well. Yeah, absolutely, and you can definitely tell that you're a CSGO player, because at the end of the um, each round, if you were the last player, you got the knife flick happening. Like, that is just such a CSGO thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, also, I, I just want to ask you to bring that uh, jersey forward. <laughs> Oh, uh, do I just go to the side? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There you go, guys. We've got the new, new, we, we've got the blur happening, but you, you can kind of see the jersey, yeah, the new, new jersey. Place, <laughs> um, yeah, that was from IEM Sydney. Uh, I think we won, yeah, we won the CSGO event there for the women's tournament. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and I think we've probably asked you already, but if you have any words for any new players, what would they be for season two? Um, any new players, I would encourage people like, you know, Mazikin, like Kira, she came in to sub for us. Um, I really encourage the subs to, um, if they wanted, they didn't get any game time this season, I recommend keep building relationships and um, try to form a team and maybe get involved next season, maybe. And um, if you enjoyed the season, um, for example, if you want to pursue competitively, um, obviously find people to have similar goals, similar skill level. And 
obviously, as I said before, I'm a big, um, I'm a, I like to believe like support players create a lot of impact. So the people who are draining those players in, shout out to you guys, because <laughs> that is a really, what do you call it? Like unrewarded or like not recognized, unrecognized basically like role basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And all the, all the fraggers get all the, um, you know, credit for it. Um, also, I just want a few shout outs to maybe my team who was watching Carter G Sports and shout out to Stacia. I see you in the bloody chat. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to everyone for watching, to be honest. Um, you guys make this league what it is. Yeah, abs- absolutely. We have, you know, a great um, chat and great crew, great admin and great players. So we really can't ask for anything more. Um, but thank you so much for jumping on. Obviously, you guys placed in third, so you do walk away with 500 AUD to share within the team, um, which is pretty cool. We'll, nice. we'll be, in, nice. yeah, be in touch with that. Um, but in the meantime, sit back and relax. Hopefully, we will see you in chat for the um, finals on Wednesday night. Yeah, good luck to the teams in the finals, actually. Um, I think it'll be interesting because, oh, who do you have to win, you reckon? Uh, oh, exactly. I'm I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I can't be biased. Oh, you can't so, be biased? Oh. Who, who do you think? I, I don't, I, I actually don't know, actually, but I think they've, both teams have developed really well throughout the season, like, towards the end of the season, and I think it's going to be the team who makes the least mistakes and does the fundamentals right, so you got the crossfires, trading, and going together, basically, and clearing properly. Yeah, and the last matchup we saw between them was... Uh, just last week, I believe, or the week before. Um, and yeah. they did a, like, a clean sweep. Up, yeah. yeah. So it is, it's going to be very, very exciting. Um, but, yeah, we hope to see you guys in chat and supporting those girls as well. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for coming on and doing a cam interview. I know it's a little bit daunting and scary and stuff. So thank you for being here and chatting. Uh, no worries. Thanks for having me. No worries. So just before we go, guys, I believe this is going to be us for tonight. It has been a five-hour stream. Um, it has been a very long match for both teams. I uh, just want to do a quick shout-out to our sponsors, ZQ Racing, Legion Energy and Computer Alliance, and, of course, our partners, Ubisoft Australia. But stick around um, for next week – uh, sorry, for Wednesday night, we're going to have the final map between Trinity and Vertex for first and second place. See you then.